It's December favorites. I don't have a lot of time to film this. I'm gonna jump right in. The first product I'm gonna tell you about are these Kuyana pouches. These are so beautiful and this would be a beautiful Christmas gift if you need something um, for someone in your life. You could also like get them, these are nesting pouches so they come as a set of two um, and they have a little slip like inside if you have to put something else in there to kind of keep it separate. I use these for makeup, for traveling, you name it. But this would be a really pretty gift if you got these. Um, you could divide it up and give it to two people or give it to one person, but fill it with some beauty items, nail polish, lipsticks, you name it. Uh, but the quality is just so fantastic. They're such a great size. They kind of pop open so you can see what you've got inside. And I just, I saw them sitting here and I was like, I don't usually mention products other than beauty products, but I had, I had to mention these patches from Kuyana. I have so much to tell you about. <laughs> the first thing I'm gonna cover is the Hyaluronic Acid Body Gel Lotion from Bath & Body Works. I got this and a handful of other products at Bath & Body Works on Black Friday. Um, I got this, the Hyaluronic Acid one, because I've been loving the Peter Thomas Roth Hyaluronic Acid line. Um, I'll get to this in a minute. I really love this body lotion. It has a soft scent. Um, it's Ah, it's kind of, I guess, more floral than like warm vanilla. I typically go for warm vanilla type scents, but it's not very strong. I hate products that smell like super strong. It gives me a headache. Um, so this sinks in right away. It feels like a watery gel that doesn't drip when you put it on, but it sinks right in and keeps my skin nice and moisturized. Um, so I, I really liked this from Bath & Body Works. What I've also been using that's in my shower that I'm realizing I forgot to grab is a um, Dove body wash that feels so good on my skin as well. Um, so I'm always changing my body products, but I saw this Black Friday and had to try it because it had the hyaluronic acid in it. So let's now talk about the Peter Thomas Roth stuff. Um, this is the water drench line. These two products and then a cleanser came in a kit from Ulta. Um, I don't know if Sephora has it, but I got it at Ulta. Um, for like the holidays and the price of the three products together again There's a little cleanser that I forgot to grab was the cost of just one of the products So I bought it tried these products loved them bought a second kit I'm like you can't pass up on that deal um, So this is the serum and then this is the cream and the whole notion behind the hyaluronic acid that I'm sure I'm not going to get scientifically perfect is the hyaluronic acid is something your body creates so you're just putting more of it onto your skin and it has the ability to hold moisture really well um, like an X number of times its weight so if you put it on if you apply it to your skin with like moist fingertips or if your skin's a little damp from the shower the hyaluronic acid is just gonna hang on to all of that water as it penetrates into your skin so the thought is that it'll keep your skin moisturized for so long and I found that to be totally the case my skin feels better than ever using these products and I I'm often changing skincare I've been using the same moisturizer by fresh for years amongst changing it up throughout the year depending on what other products I'm trying um, but I have set that aside and I'm just only Peter Thomas Roth water drench right now I had a I was pregnant I had a baby I've been going through postpartum changes all of that so my skin has just been through the ringer and these products have helped a ton. Um, a hair product, speaking of moisture, is this Kerastase Cement Thermique, uh, where's the English? Here we go, anti-breakage, um, resurfacing, strengthening milk. I've used this on and off for a long time. I've picked it up back up again because the amount of damage on my hair is out of control. I think it's just a postpartum thing. Um, I'm not noticing as much hair loss like full strand as some women do after they have a baby, but I'm noticing a ton of breakage, which is so sad. Um, so I'm trying to do my best to keep the hair that I do have healthy. And uh, I put this like mid shaft to end. So what I love about it is you almost can't feel it in your hair, but your hair does feel a little bit silkier. It has a nice slip to it. Um, so it doesn't weigh your hair down. It doesn't feel oily. It doesn't curl differently or wear it, when I wear it straight, it doesn't look different. It just, I think it's just doing its, its work inside my hair as best it can and it's not altering like how I like it to look so I love it the other hair product I want to mention is by Alterna I, I almost have to buy the full size of this I can't remember where I got this 
Um, this is the Miracle Multiplying Volume Mist Spray Volumizer. Um, I spray this like mid shaft to ends. I just lift my hair up and spray it. I also use a root lifter, um, but this is kind of good for overall fullness and man it works <laughs> like my hair is bigger than ever with this volume spray I love it so if you want to try it you don't need to use a root lifter with it I'm just addicted to a quad drop lifting foam so I cannot stop using it and um, you could try just using this volume mist but it's a really light feel and it adds just like airy lift to your hair two facial sprays that I've been enjoying to again add a little bit of moisture and set makeup are um, one is a drugstore and then one is not a drugstore uh, let's talk about this one first. This is the Olay Mist, the Ultimate Hydration Essence. It's got these like little bubbles in it. It just looks so fancy. Um, it is like a plastic type feeling um, bottle. It is a hydrating mist. You can put it on before your moisturizer, after your moisturizer, after makeup. It says anytime you need to de-stress. So whenever you want to use it really, it just adds kind of a blast of moisture to your skin. Um, so you could try using it before moisturizer or after makeup. I've been not using it as a setting spray as much as just like a moisture spray on days that I'm not wearing a lot of makeup. Um, but a setting spray I've been using is by Tatcha. Again, this is like a little trial size. This is the Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Tatcha prices are, oh mama. Um, it is great. I don't know if I'll buy the full size. This is gonna last me a long time. Um, but I got this because it said dewy skin mist and I was like oh I wonder if it's gonna leave this like dewy glowy look and it doesn't leave a ton of uh, like glow in this spray however it does set my makeup really nicely and kind of blends everything together so um, I, I've been liking this and using it which is why I wanted to mention it um, this would be something like maybe ask for it for Christmas it's expensive and it's not like you gotta have it it's a game changer um, so I just wanted to kind of, since I was talking about that Olay one, I wanted to talk about the other one I was trying as well. So the polish I've been wearing on my nails is Essie's Last Nighty. This is the Gel Couture. I love this line of nail polish. If I'm not giving myself a proper gel manicure with the light, I use Essie's Gel Couture, which does not require a light. It's just the color and then a top coat. You have to use the color and top coat together. Um, it does not come with a base coat. That's, I never use the base coat. You can. I just find that I don't need one, um, but it's I'm wearing it on my nails right now. It's like it actually has a touch of shimmer in it, which is not usually what I wear for a nail polish, um, but I like it kind of for winter time. Okay, I just gathered up all my makeup into my lap so I can kind of uh, blast through it here. The foundation I've been loving and I've talked about on Instagram is the Becca Skin Love Weightless Blur Foundation. This shade is vanilla. I have this and I think cashmere. Um, both are great for my skin tone. Vanilla is like a touch. A touch warm but nothing too warm I don't think I'm wearing it today um, it feels so good on my skin it's like this beautiful medium coverage that looks like skin it's um creamier and a bit thicker than Giorgio Armani's luminous silk foundation which is what I've worn for most of the year um, that one's a little bit thinner and you have to apply more of it this you need less of honestly this the consistency is similar to it cosmetics CC plus cream um, but it's not as glowy like sometimes that feels really oily on my skin um, so this is kind of like the perfect it's great um, it's the perfect mix of like everything I want in a foundation so if you haven't tried it try it since I had such success with that foundation I've gotten some other Becca products this got so many good reviews on the website it is the um, oh it's hard to read glow glaze stick and it's just a highlighter stick um, I'm not a huge highlight person though I am sort of becoming one um, but you just apply this to your skin wherever you want highlight. So I usually go tops of my cheekbones, the center of my forehead, down my nose, and a little bit on my like Cupid's bow there. And it is the most natural looking highlighter I've ever used. It's subtle, but it is not glitter. You do not turn your head and think like, whoa, what? My cheeks are glowing. But it looks like, oh, you have a healthy glow to your skin. Like, are you 18? You know? So if you want to look 18, this will do it for you. The last Becca product I want to mention, this is new as well, is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. This is light to medium. I used this today under my eyes and uh, yeah, it looked like, I don't know, 12 to 20 hours of sleep and just brightness and I just put it on and was like, oh, it looks flawless. Like it was actually pretty amazing. Um, another corrector that you may have heard of that's more uh, popular, or not popular, but maybe more well known, uh, sort of iconic, is the... Um, Laura Mercier 
what is it, Secret Camouflage? I'm not gonna get the name of it, but her corrector is great. This though has a little bit of luminosity in it, so it adds some like reflection. I don't want that word to scare you, um, but it brightens better than other under eye correctors I've used in the past. So with a corrector, you use this to correct and then you put concealer on top of it. That may seem like a lot of steps, but man, if it doesn't look like I've just shined flashlights on my skin, it is just glow. I don't know. This description is going off the rails, but basically if you're tired and you have under eye circles and you just look at your skin and you're like, I look asleep, this will solve all your problems. I'm making bold claims today. I have three Charlotte Tilbury products and then a MAC blush. Who talks about MAC? Mac came to Ulta and uh, I was like, Mac, Mac, haven't used Mac in so long. Um, so I looked around and found myself with a blush in my bag. This is the Sweet Enough blush. It's so cute. I'm wearing it today. It's just like the easiest pink in the world. Um, I feel like this would work on every skin tone. It may get a little bit lost on darker skin tones, but it's just like a pink neutral blush. It's not too peach. It's not too glowy. It doesn't have a bunch of shimmer in it, though it looks like a little a little bit shimmery. It's certainly not matte, um, but it doesn't have like glitter in it. it. This is just a great, easy blush to wear. Um, this is what I would wear if I was wearing a really bright lip because it's pink and it looks like a natural flush, but it isn't a strong blush color. Um, so MAC, welcome back to my life. Um, three Charlotte Tilbury products that have been uh, so fun to wear and play with. Charlotte Tilbury's prices are high. There's no denying that. The quality is fantastic. So if you're looking for some luxury beauty to invest in, here it is. I have been wanting to buy this for years. This is her uh, Filmstar Bronze and Glow Face Sculpt and Highlight in Fair Medium. So it has this contour type shade and then a highlighter. It's stunning. It looks so good on the skin. It goes on like a dream. Um, there's a lot of product here and there better be for what it costs. Uh, but I have been loving it. I find myself looking forward to doing my foundation and concealer and all that and then like, I don't know, I'm enjoying like the contour highlight process because I'll put it on and like, dang that powder looks so good. I don't know, I can't explain it. But this has been uh, fun and beautiful and everything I hoped it would be. It is. So it ain't cheap, but it's good. So it better be. Another face palette that might be a better direction, ooh, if it's still available, is this um, Glowing Pretty Skin Palette. This has a similar, I don't know actually if they're exactly the same. I really don't know. But uh, it has similar shades in the contour and highlight realm and then some more shimmery highlights and then two blushes. I don't love this peachy blush, but I will love that in the summer. So I'm not using it a lot now, but I am using that pink one. Um, but this is just a beautiful full face palette. Charlotte Tilbury has a lot of those. Um, she kind of markets a lot of her products as full looks. So you could get like the full look if you wanted to. But this palette is beautiful. If you wanted to try like the contour and powder um, or the contour and highlight, and then also some other products, this might be a good one to start with because you get blushes and then a setting powder and highlighters. Um, so I've been using both of these a ton and each day I'm like, which one? I want to use all of them, but that's too much makeup. Uh, the last Charlotte Tilbury product that I have to mention that I've loved is the Magic Away Concealer. This shade is two, fair. I have three, fair as well. No, it wouldn't be fair, but it's the number three. Um, this one is a little bit nicer for me now that my like tan from the summer is gone. Um, but three also works as well. So if you're similar skin tone to me, you could do two or three. Two is a little bit lighter though. Um, and looks good kind of for under eye. But I do hate the applicator of that. I can't um, not mention that I hate the applicator. It's gross and dirty and I just hate it. But the product is so great. It looks like skin. Um, it looks natural. It is not cakey. It doesn't um, settle into my creases under my eyes. I'm primarily using it as an under eye concealer, especially on top of that Becca corrector. And I just look so well rested and I'm not. So I'm <laughs> like, these guys are just doing it for me. And then while I'm talking about concealer, I always said it with the Laura Mercier translucent um, or secret brightening under eye powder. So my under eyes are high maintenance. Uh, anyway, so these are two under eye products that I love, but this Magic Away is great for also covering up blemishes because like I said, it does its job, but it doesn't look like 
matte, thick concealer. It blends in nicely. Um, the thing about covering blemishes though, when you're using this kind of tip, is like you don't wanna just spread the bacteria, bacteria all around. So like put some of it on your hand and then use it to cover blemishes so you're not like covering a blemish and then putting it under your eye because you're just transferring the bacteria and you don't want to do that. Okay, those are my products that I've been loving for December. Um, some of those are longtime loves and others are new to the makeup vanity table which desperately, desperately needs to be edited but I, I shall work on that soon. Um, if you enjoyed this and you want to watch other favorites videos, you can find those on my blog. Just search favorites video or you can find them on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. If you want links to anything I mentioned here, those are always on the blog. Um, so just go visit thesmallthingsblog.com. There will be a direct link to the post that has all of the links and details about the products I mentioned here um, below this video. I hope that made sense. All right. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.